All right, I got this call to remove some honeybees in this brush, and the customer uh, wasn't sure exactly what they were in, but they theorized they were in a trash can, and they were absolutely correct. So, look at that. My plan is to bring them home in the trash can, but um, hopefully I can just slip a trash bag right over the, well, it's the bottom right now, but you know what I mean, the top of what's normally the top of the trash can, and just put tape around it. So I have several hours to prepare for that because I got here early because I didn't know it was going to be this simple. You know, I didn't, well, I didn't know if I was going to have to cut them out of some kind of structure that was back here or something like that. So I got here a little bit early. So let's see if we can't take a look at them real quick. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to look at them physically, but my camera is, so... You'll get a glimpse of uh, the bees under there, the comb and everything, when I lift this up. See if that gives me any indication. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm gonna drag those bees out of there and put them on top of this and then gather the edges of that bag around the bottom sides of that trash can and then tape the bag to the trash can with my Gorilla Tape. And then uh, at nightfall, I can easily just seal the top simple as that all right let me go ahead and get it out here Let's see what happens All right, that was easy enough. I want to get another look under there at these. The whole thing in the trash can? Yeah, I'm going to send you a picture and some videos of what's underneath oh, there. Oh my gosh, I just, oh my gosh. Oh, the lift's in there? No. Oh. No. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so I taped up the bottom with a trash bag. And uh, you can see all these bees that are used to coming back in here where the trash can was originally. So until nightfall, I'm gonna have to remove this trash can from this spot where I did the operation and move it back over here because there's gonna be too much chaos unless I do that. All right. Okay, so now it's just a waiting game. All the confusion settling down. They, their home is back in the original spot. So at nightfall, I may have to smoke some of those bees into that uh, trash can. And then uh, I have, actually have some screening in my van. I may just put a screen over the hole so they can still breathe. Although, they'll have plenty of oxygen on the ride home, so I'm only 30 minutes away. Regardless, I'm just going to tape up the top and throw them into my van. 
and make sure they're secured in my van to where it doesn't tip over because the comb in there could be very fragile and don't want any collapse. All right. Okay, it's getting towards nightfall and I'm just coaxing some of these in these top entrances before nightfall and then like I said I'll put tape over those two openings I think those are the only two openings but, uh, you don't have to smoke the heck out of them just a little bit here and there and they cooperate 